Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. This is biology session. You are watching reproduction, the generating system, part 7. In the last class, read the, the reproduction, sexual reproduction in plants. Under that, uh, the structure of ovum and uh, the process of fertilization and the formation of seed. These are all how they are going to cycle. Means how growth occurs. So before going to that, uh, some usually single fertilization gives rise to zygote but in plant giving rise to a nutritive tissue that provides nutrient zygote the pollen grain has two cells in one of uh, its cell called a tube cell there are two nuclei from zygote and the other nucleus fusion nucleus to form the endosperm and triple when surrounded by varieties of same flowers they ready proselytize interesting thing okay so in the today's video we are going to discuss about the cell division so let us uh, recall our previous knowledge what is cell division children have you come across this term yes about the cell structure when you studied under that uh, one of the structure which is present in the animal cell which is absent in the plant control. okay that centriole involved in the cell division isn't it okay so what is cell division actually it is cell reproduction it is also called cell reproduction cell division is an essential process in all living organisms during which uh, each parental cell divide and give rise to two daughter cells which again grow divide and give rise to new population okay and uh, it is connected with cell cycle what is cell cycle cell cycle is the period from the end of one division of a cell to the end of next division it is uh, comprised of uh, two main stages that is uh, interface and a mitotic phase okay so let us uh, proceed first cell division and continuation of what is the meaning of continuation of life starts from cells enter through body or the sex cells the gamete only fused to form the zygote then the zygote undergo the cell division and the life continues isn't it Rudolf or Victor in 1821 1902 this period a proponent of cell theory he is one of the contributor for the cell theory is given the credit uh, for the phrase omnis cellula decellula or it can be translated as cells arise from pre-existing cells. So this indicates the importance of cell division in the creation of new cells. 
meaning is according to which show the new cells are formed from the old cells in uh, 1852 a german scientist robert remack he published his uh, he published uh, he published his observations on cell division based on his uh, observations of embryos this was uh, one of the first attempts to understand the mechanism of cell division he started uh, he stated that who stated robert remack stated that binary fission of cells was the means of uh, reproduction of animal cells okay according to robert remack binary fission means uh, you have studied already that is uh, uh, the reproduction in uh, paramecium reproduction in amoeba binary fission single cell divides into two okay according to robert remack binary fission of cells was the means of reproduction of uh, animal cells so what happens during cell division could only be understood better when scientists came to know what is present inside the nucleus of the cell okay so the composition of the nucleus the structure of the nucleus helps to understand the cell division because the nucleus plays a, a key role in the cell division in 1879 walter fleming walter fleming examined many kinds of animal and plant cells and selected those that showed cell division okay he examined the different kinds of plant and animal cells and selected those that showed division he reported from his observations of uh, such cells that uh, there were string like structures in the nucleus which is split longitudinally during cell division okay according to him there is a string like structure in the nucleus in the nucleus which is split longitudinally during cell division this was the observation of a uh, walter fleming he named such a process of division as mitosis mitosis was introduced by fleming okay according to him uh, okay what is mitosis the meaning is mitos means fine threads as the dividing structures resemble the thread like structures so he named it as mitosis and he made meticulous observation and made sketches and observed that there were a sequence of events in the process of division okay so he made lot of observations lot of and finally concluded that uh, there are a series of events which takes place in the process of cell division walter fleming okay a decade later means after uh, a decade these threads like thread like structures were named as uh, chromosomes change observation experimentation of the science provided uh, the knowledge okay previously they called the thread like structures but those thread like structures later called as a uh, chromosomes these chromosomes are colored bodies repeated the efforts to see them scientists were trying to use the uh, technique they use the dyes to stain the nucleus and found that these structures were stained okay. these chromosomes are stained most often so his uh, most important discovery was chromosomes appear double in nature okay the most interesting and uh, most important discovery 
was chromosomes appeared double in nature after him after uh, walter fleming another scientist by name uh, wilhelm rocks wilhelm rocks proposed that chromosomes carried a different set of heritable elements heritable elements another new term heritable elements and longitudinal splitting observed by fleming ensured the equal division of these elements the combined with the rediscovery of grieger mendel's uh, 1866 paper on heritable elements in peas these results highlighted the central role of chromosomes in carrying heritable material heritable material or it is also called the genetic material which it transfer from parents to offsprings okay one generation to another generation genetic material nothing but dna deoxy ribonucleic acid okay children in the cell division cell divides into two halves with equal number of chromosomes which are similar to parent cell and are diploid in nature diploid means two set of chromosomes okay in the cell division cell divides into two halves with equal number of chromosomes which are similar to parent cell the parent cell which undergoes the cell division is diploid the daughter cells which are formed are also diploid in nature okay but the chromosome number always remained the same okay this is the point of the next generation cells same okay biologists also began to wonder about this when when cells divide the daughters have of chromosomes as the parent cell okay so let us assume that uh, cell division is always uh, preceded by mitosis in case of uh, man egg cells, sperm cells like other cells must be 46 so then the union of egg nucleus and sperm nucleus which takes but it is actually or containing a 23 pairs of chromosomes okay these 23 pairs of chromosomes containing 46 23 pairs means nothing but 46 chromosomes okay but If the sperm cell as well as the egg cell unites to form a zygote, zygote will contain 92 chromosomes. This chromosome it continues. If it continues, this is 68, and so. the reproduction means for example if uh, women uh, are the women is what is the reason behind it 
Wiseman, a famous uh, biologist, hypothesized that in successive generations, the individuals of the same species have the same number of chromosomes. This is the first possibility. The second, uh, in successive cell division, the number of chromosomes always remain constant. Always remain constant. So, this August Weisman was a scientist with uh, poor eyesight. It was uh, difficult for him to use a microscope to study cells, but there were uh, other things uh, that he could do. That is, the advancement of the science is not only possible by mere collection of data. Someone must think, analyze and interpret the data. That is the scientific method. So, this man was a great uh, scientist, though he has a poor even a scientist and a normal woman. Okay. The scheme of protic division was uh, confirmed in uh, 1904 by Theodore Bovary. Okay, another scientist named Bovary. Wiseman's uh, statement. He, uh, he proposed he also the changes. Okay, the changes which are plasm. This is the statement. Very important means. Germoplasm means the cytoplasm present in the gametes. The changes in the germoplasm only will transfer to the next generation, but not in the normal vegetative cells. Okay, the cells of uh, hands uh, or any other part. Okay, only the uh, reproductive cells are called germ cells. Okay, the changes which occur in that only transfer to the next generation. That is the hereditary material. Okay, they are connected. All the uh, information passed right from the Grieger Mendel okay, to August Weisman. So, all those uh, thinkings were co coincide. Okay. The chemical nature of the material was determined after a series of experiments over the next 50 years. 10 years. Next, so after 5 years. In terms of structure, structure of the genetic material. What is the genetic material? D deoxyribonucleic acid. In 1953, and uh, they proposed structure DNA. August Weisman. Okay. In which retains These are concrete points. Here. Finally, mitosis. All deployed means deployed. But whereas meiotic takes place in only the sex cells. Okay, that is a is reproductive organs that is testis yeah? this takes place and the uh, are means the chromosome number is half let us observe this chart uh, two kinds of cell division in the life of an individual the chromosome number 2n means diploid and n means haploid or respectively the number of chromosomes 
of the number apply n means the type of division predicted by Wiesman, August Wiesman. Fertilizer egg. It depends on the mass. Two. That's like this. So bone, muscle, skin. These are all vegetative cells. Nerve, blood, RBC cells. Are all deployed. Okay. But the starting, they are haploid. So here, the sex cells, that is sperm and egg, they are haploid. The remaining all vegetative cells, the body cells, they are diploid. Reproductive cell, which is diploid, produced as diploid. Here meiosis takes place. And all these are formed by mitosis. 2N. Meiosis formed by That's why for the sexual reproduction, Cell division meiosis plays a very important role. Okay. The meiosis helps in the number of chromosomes. Cell division helps in the maintaining constant number of chromosomes. Any change in the number and structure of chromosomes will lead to some abnormalities. Okay. Life of any organism, all organisms will divide and form new cells. The process of cell division is same in unicellular organisms, highly evolved multicellular organisms like human beings. Okay, the pattern is same. So from zygote to embryo, cell division is the key. The development of the takes place in the means of cell division. And even after the birth from the baby, newborn baby to 20 years, or as the age progresses, the size and growth process is also dependent on the cell division. Division and the function in a multi is highly regulated. It is only when it is the result of cell division what meiosis. Meiosis is a diploid cell. Here also a diploid cell divides and uh, two daughter cells are formed which are deployed whereas in meiosis the daughter cells which are formed are deployed okay okay children more we are going to discuss in the next class thank you for watching our video our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates